Welcome to the weekend edition of the Nightly Nugent. Ted, you know, um, I know you're just busy and I'll get out. Uh, you're on tour. You're tearing it up from town to town. It involves a lot of travel, late nights, little sleep. And it makes me think of so many people that I talk to uh, just daily. And I say, hey, uh, you've been hunting lately. Oh, no, you know, I just don't have enough time. I, I, I don't have enough time. And so when I see you, uh, someone who is literally blessed that God gave him 27 hours a day and uses every one of them. What do you say to those people that have prioritized hunting and fishing and outdoor time out of their lives and how important it is to you as someone who is just so busy and on the front lines that that outdoor time is part of your life? Well, I think we can all agree the greatest philosopher of all times was Dirty Harry. When he said a good man knows his limitations and I do snarl and race and fight and celebrate and perform my we the people American responsibilities every day and I compartmentalize so I can make sure I make Mrs. Nugent happy my queen of the forest little Miss Dangerous I'm a I'm a husband that's my number one responsibility I'm a father that's my number one responsibility I'm a grandfather I'm a entrepreneur I'm an employer and I am a musician, I'm a band leader, a band mate, I'm a guide and outfitter with our Sunrise Safaris. I could give you the list of the people I employ year round. And when I'm on tour, I employ, I employ thousands of people every year of my life because all those buildings, all those security, all those managers, all those owners, all those operators, all those union people, they work for me. I pay them every night. So my secret has always been what the great Fred Bear said, that the spirit of the wild, I don't think he referenced that specific term, but the outdoor lifestyle, the healing powers of nature, the spirit of God's miraculous creation will cleanse the soul. And I know a lot of people, and I so adore, I so admire those that get up early every day and bust their ass to be in the asset column. Can you imagine being part of rush hour in major metropolitan areas every day. What a pain in the ass that is. Those of you who endure that and get up and perform those responsibilities, we the people love you with all of our heart and soul. But there is a way that you can find time. We all have vacation time. Make sure your vacation is during the pre-rut. <laughs> Make sure if you have vacation time, <laughs> save it for the last week of October, the first week of November. But there's a, there's a woods, there's a farm, there's a park, there's a dirt road nearby wherever you are. At some point, you need to walk that quiet ground. You need to breathe deep and again, get a bow and arrow. I carry my Matthews bow with me on the road and I shoot my bow and arrow every day and I've, I've celebrated this on my Ted Nugent Real America Voice Spirit mm -hmm. Campfire. Be sure you join me. It's the Real America Voice Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. I do spontaneous Facebook and YouTube Spirit Campfires. The Nightly Nuge every night. I've, I don't know if I've done it because we have a green screen in Michigan, but I shoot my bow and arrow on these different media and different podcasts. And I'm telling you, when you knock an arrow, believe me, my friends at the Nightly Nuge, Keith knows this. Tim knows this. When you grab that bow, doesn't matter what kind it is, as long as it's graceful and comfortable, and you knock that arrow, by the time you knock the arrow, there is no Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> by the time you envision your sight picture and begin to draw the mystical flight of the arrow, there is no Joe Biden crime family. The soul cleansing properties of archery as the original Zen, original samurai, original martial arts of total immersion into the hand-eye spirit coordination of the mystical flight of the arrow archery. While you are shooting your arrows, I'm telling you, life is perfect. I have friends going through chemotherapy and radiation treatment for dangerous life-threatening cancer they have a lightweight graceful bow that they can come to full draw and they tell me 
especially they actually mentioned they play the Fred Bear song. I have a song about the great man Fred Bear, yes, which ignites the spirit every night on stage. And we can escape the treachery that seems to be ubiquitous, universal, it's everywhere. The simple act of walking wild ground, taking a kid fishing or just going to a pond, find these opportunities are everywhere in the United States of America. No one is more than a few minutes away from a soul cleansing, nature healing opportunity and experience. Find that time, make that happen. On my new record, Detroit Muscle, there's a song, American Campfire. Somebody can put stones in a circle Somebody can roll up some newspaper and get some sticks. Somebody can break a couple branches off a dead tree nearby or pick up some debris in your yard and start a campfire. Something about the flickering flames of the aboriginal spirit of original man finding fire to cook protein. It still is as pure today as the first spark prehistory. So the spirit of the wild is more important now than ever. Then it will make you stronger, recharge your batteries, and you'll be better at everything you pursue. I promise. That's so true, Ted. And you know, if you don't know how, I highly encourage you to learn how to start a fire, how to shoot a bow or a gun, and learn how to fish, and for heaven's sake, at least teach your children those precious skills. And you know what, Ted? A personal story here on the Nightly News, you know, our producer, Tim Lamar, who you know well, he never grew up hunting, um, but with just a few days of practicing with the bow, he fell in love with it. We were on a uh, alligator hunt uh, down in Florida, and Ted and Tim obviously was able to shoot and we can put up the picture here of Tim smiling uh, behind a bow killed uh, alligator. And you know what? Tim will tell you that it was a feeling, you know, uh, 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 that he had never had. You know, he's edited all this stuff, but he had never actually bow hunted. And so the truth is anyone can do it, Ted. And you know what? I'm, uh, I'm glad that uh, you uh, kind of mix these two worlds. One, because I love your music. I love the spirit of the wild watching your television show. You're just a masterful storyteller in the woods and on the stage. And so keep that tour going because there's a lot of people looking forward to seeing you down the trail. And if you all come back next week, we'll have some more of the nightly news. We'll get some more current events ahead of Ted and see what he thinks. (laughs) 